Hello everybody. You may be wondering if you've seen me before, does she own another shirt? Well my friend, yes I do. I do own maybe maybe one more shirt, but no one no one knows. You know, you could ask Thick Jesus up above. She might be able to tell you, but as of now, all my shirts are this or this shirt. Um it is 11 it is 11 05 in, in the p.m. and everyone knows that is the perfect time to start tie-dyeing clothes it if you if you know you know it's time it's time so let's get started can y'all see my dirty sink probably do i care not really all right hope you like my crusty kitchen um there's a bowl so earlier today for a full-on hour I baked baking soda in the oven at 200 degrees, and the house smelled funny, chemically. I don't have a bag of white powder. We're gonna take this stuff, and you're gonna flick it here in the vessel. So basically, if you're a normal person, this stuff that I created, it's called soda ash. Ah, not soda ash. It's called soda ash. It's a dye fixative, meaning. When you tie dye your things, they don't just the, 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 the dye just lasts a long time, which is important. So basically, I turned regular baking soda into like a chemical that burns people's skin. So that's super safe. I recommend it. <laughs> I'm really impatient. Okay, here's my um my chonky bowl of water, which is kind of warm. Mm, need a little bit more. A little bit more water, baby. Good enough. Okay. So there, we've made our, our stew. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna get our... Oh, I didn't even tell you what I was dying. So here, fresh from the Amazon truck, we have baby clothes. And I'm not a baby. That's obvious. But <laughs> my one of my best friend's moms had a baby. And I'm very excited about it, you know? My friend, she's 18, uh, we're all very old, um, but her mom had an adorable baby girl, and we are making this sweet little creature some wonderful clothes, and that's a blanket that I just put in. I shouldn't be putting my, my hands in here, but I've done a lot of tie-dye. I got crusty old man fingers, and by golly, the baby is worth work is worth worsening my crusty digits. So yes, we're gonna let these thing these things soak. Oh my god, these are tiny pants. <gasps> They're oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Tiny pants, putting them right in the stew. This is a towel. This one, what are you? <gasps> oh my god. It's a little onesie. I love baby clothes. I'm just a young child myself, but I find babies fascinating. Maybe it's because I am simple-minded. <laughs> but I think babies are the, it's, are, they're a very good thing. That's adorable, soak that in there. And then, of course, a tiny little hat. My skin's starting to feel a little funny. I'm gonna rinse it off before my freckles fall off. Wow, I'm really hyper. I think the fumes are getting to me. Okay, so now I just let this sit for like 20 minutes. What do we do for 20 minutes? Does everybody have their pajamas on? I have really short legs. I apologize. That was probably jarring for you long-legged folks. It's bedtime for normal people. For normal people, it's bedtime. For me, it is, it's tea time. Chai, baby. I don't know if she's okay. She sounds a little winded. I look bald. Here you go. I promise I'm not bald. <laughs> nice. What a sexy pour. Wow. All right, so it's been 20 enough minutes. And we're going to want to slip on. You thought I was going to say always use protection, kids. And you know what? While I think you probably should, 
it's your life and your body. So, do what you want. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, even though I have my opinion. Don't wanna drip it in my tea because caustic chemicals in your beverages is a no-no. No, no. I'm just gonna put them on the counter because I don't think the chemicals will hurt the counter. The longer sleeved onesie, which is very, very, very good. Oh, are these my, I thought that was my favorite, which were obviously the tiny pants. Those were just, mm-mm. Very nice. They were very high quality. Here they are. The highest quality product. There's all of our things. Now I want to twist up our little friends. You know, to make the patterns and such. So I have to move the camera again. BRB. Cool. I don't want to touch the camera. Gotta wipe it on your sleeping pants. So here are our crusty rubber vans that have been used many times before. <laughs> Let's start with, let's do the blanket, which was over here. And I just want to do the basic swirl, you know? Our classic queen. So let's, I like to find the general center, uh, which is about here. Or we could do off center. Let's do off center. You can't see that though. Let's start here. So you just start twisting it <laughs> up against the table and you make a little belly button <laughs> for your fabric. And we have, <gasps> the pants. Oh my god, I love the pants. <laughs> I'm thinking, what if we did two of those bullseyes, but like one on each knee? There is a hair in there. We do not care. <laughs> that one is dead. That's a dead spaghetti. Put it here. Oh, that broke. I left these out in the sun for a couple of days and most of them are trash. Let's see if this boy works. Oh. All right, that broke also. This man, will this guy work? Okay, but we're starting to, I'm starting to see a pattern here. Does any of these work? Oh my God. You, what about this one? This one looks good. Oh my God. <laughs> How about this fat one? Ew, okay, there we go. All those are done. All right, I got you guys a sexy little overhead shot. <laughs> Gotta put these crusty, musty, dusty gloves back on my hands. Now, we have so many shades of purple. So I'm almost out of everything. I didn't feel like making new dye. So we have one purple. There's a red. <laughs> we got like a fuchsia. This is brown, which sounds a little scary, but it looks really good with the purples. We have another cooler tone type of fuchsia, a darker brown, and then this really pretty pink. Oh, I already got purple on that. <laughs> See, the culprit. All right, let's start with this one. She's calling my name. So yeah, I will see you guys in the morning when this is sat and we will unwrap them together. By far the most fun part of tie-dye at, at all. It's the, it's the time, it's the time that everyone waits for. So you only have to wait a second, I have to wait several hours. See you soon. <laughs> Hi guys, um, we're outside now. Obviously, and it's windy, so um, I'm probably not gonna talk, but it's very fun to watch Tada get washed out, so let's just take it in together. In the section of my deepest knees, you were there, I knew now you know me. When we met, I swear I came alive. My heart's on a jelly, and I'm same old story with a zest and twist I'm ready to relax in this magical way
sweet lads i finished the gifts for the children and i unbraided my hair it's now very large <gasps> should that be the thumbnails just me taking up the whole frame probably not i am going to visit my friend tomorrow social distancing of course because it's a brand new baby and we don't want the we want that to remain a baby. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm just gonna visit him through the window and it's gonna be great. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching my wonderful, messy, frankly bad tie-dye adventure. So um, yeah, I'll see you next week. I love you, adios. Mwah.